sneaking around in here, Charles. Whatever are you looking for? I'm looking for hope. I will bring you hope, old friend. And I ask only one thing in return. Don't get in my way. We are the future, Charles, not them. They no longer matter. Bounding into comics, this is where we're getting the specific report from. It says Marvel's mm -hmm. X-Men Green Arc sees nature girl murder store clerk over piece of litter. Escape punishment. So we're giving it away a little bit, but um, Joseph, before I even get into this, right? Mm -hmm. I explain to me what you think the X-Men are all about. Just from your whatever knowledge that you actually have. You don't have to go into super detail. Just okay. in a generic way. Just a generic like, oh, Mutants these are the reasons. Who are different, who are understood by people, but uh, overcome that to show them who they to show people who they truly are and do the right thing and save humanity. Okay, that's fair. I I can live with that. All right. Sometimes from monsters, but then you come to realize that the the humans are the real monsters. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's 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 not bad. All right. So, um uh, this article starts out and we're actually going to I'll, I'll, I'm going to read a little bit. Actually, I'm going to pull this up. Um, I'm, I'm going to read a little bit because they have some of the comic strips in here and that, that mm -hmm. the visual and reading this is what really makes like makes this so insane and uh, like kind of funny, to be honest. Um, it right. says uh, what uh, and what can charitably be described as poorly executed attempt to create an edgy new environmentalist mutant anti heroin the most recent storyline featured in marvel's x-men uh, unlimited digital series sees nature girl unapologetically murder a random store manager after finding a piece of litter from his establishment only to be released from punishment thanks to the intervention of sentient crocoa or whatever which isn't it's not that important that part's not that important no. all right so uh this there we've got some like strips from the comic um, and this first one says, my mutant gift has joined me with the planet. I feel her every joy and pain. But these days, there is far more pain and uh, is that fever? Fever. Uh, yeah. Than ever before. Right. And she's like sad. And she there's this turtle on the ground right here. And it's like dead or whatever. It like it was choking on a plastic bag. Right. Yeah. That's kind of the point. So she takes this plastic bag. I thought back. it was choking, choking on Bud Light. But that's just. <laughs> Could be that too, litterers. <laughs> um, and she's at, uh, confronting the store clerk, right? And this conversation is kind of ridiculous. She's like, "Do you know where I found this bag?" And he's like, "No, and I don't care." Now get out of. She's like, "It was lodged in the throat of a beautiful sea turtle," <laughs> <laughs> which already sounds like uh, someone on Twitter. <laughs> yes, it does. It sounds like real life. <laughs> um. And he says, well, it may have been beautiful, but it wasn't that smart if it ate a plastic <laughs> bag. Now you, you can say? buy something or, and she picks up the scissors and st off this guy's counter and stabs him in the neck. Because <laughs> that's rational. Right. And she says, this planet is not your toilet, you stupid barbarian, as she stabs him. Right. Um. So then it says, after escaping Las Vegas and charming some blah, blah, blah. Uh, the young mut mutant is confronted by Wolverine, who has been sent to Professor uh, by Professor Xavier to track down and bring back um, uh, Krakoa for trial. Uh, Anyway, it says, however, Nature Girl uh, manages to evade the longtime X-Men member, stealing his motorcycle while he battles a black bear whom the fugitive mutant, in a rather hypocritical move coming from someone who claims to be on a crusade to protect the planet's wildlife and fauna, has manipulated into fighting him to the death. <laughs> <laughs> and so Wolverine's back here and he's like fighting this black bear. Um, don't steal that bike. Don't tell me what to do. Right. So yeah, right. she's like, oh, I feel the planet and everything. And then she's like, he uses a bear to try to yeah. in a fight to uh, death to against kill. Wolverine, who if yes. he wanted to would absolutely murder that bear in two seconds, yes. uh, which doesn't make sense. Right. And this is, you know, we talk about like respecting 
uh, source material. This mm-hmm. is this can be one of those examples where it's like I feel like Wolverine probably wouldn't push put up with this. Kill the bear and take her anyway. Yeah, like it, it doesn't make any sense. But of course, she has to be the hero of the story, so it can't work out that way. Nope. Um, and there's some other stuff about like oil drilling uh, that wasn't that interesting. Yeah, because interesting. they clearly know about that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and so there's some mutant that um try that uh works for the oil company that tries to like stop her from what uh, this like eco stuff she's doing um and i think if this is the correct Good. thing gets hit by her horn or whatever she looks like like freaking female bullwinkle um yeah. and it's just like she does. it's so it sucks and the animation on yeah. this isn't very good anyway um and it says Oh, it says, declaring war on the fictional oil company. Uh, it's a Dakota-based refinery. Nature Girl soon encounters, yeah, the facility's uh, resident metahuman security guard. Um, ha- and uh, she ends up, I guess, getting um, confronted by a vision uh, from her victim. Nature Girl is shown to see her actions as necessary evil. It says, I'm dead because of you. And this is like the vision. Uh, I didn't kill some turtle. Uh, sure, some sing... Uh, single-use plastic did the trick and it might have been from our shop but don't you think you overreacted and she says i'm not sorry you're gone you were just one of uh, the problems inflicting the planet i would kill you again <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a psycho bro yeah what sociopath how Psychopathic is this a killer this isn't an anti-hero she is literally a villain yes she murdered someone and then is you making it is, excuses. Is that generation of kids before us who r- grew up with, you know, the world's about to end, the world's about to end, you know, because of climate change and global warming. And then, you know, you get this. Yeah, they're, it's like they're rationalizing. Nature girl. Yeah. That they took from Nature Boy Rick Flair. Listen, and I, I've always been someone that I'm like, I don't generally want to fall into the camp of media influences mm-hmm. um it, it's just like the end all be all right where you know how mm-hmm. people used to be like oh marilyn manson's music is the reason that the uh uh columbine, columbine shooting yeah, yeah. shootings <laughs> happened or that video exactly games was why. this if it, that's why i don't fall into that camp now I, this kind of stuff though is not helping it is not yeah. helping the cause of good art we'll say uh make the case that it's not having an effect on the minds of the people that are reading it because they're yep. they're showing her as supposed to be some sort of like anti-hero in the same vein that i guess someone like deadpool would probably be considered an anti-hero yeah where everyone's like oh he's quirky and you know i wouldn't really do a lot of the stuff that he does but we like him anyway despite his faults it's like she's just straight up murdering people yeah and she's being, just a straight up villain yeah it's so stupid um anyway you know she has some other stuff Oh, it says, my cause is right, my anger is just. Uh, Of course it is. The quiet council convicted us. (laughs) Oh, man. The island will not be... Oh, yeah. The island will not abide the destruction of this world. Like you, it has nowhere else to go. Um, Curse or see. Is that how you say it? If you come with me, you'll probably... You're probably going to skip, or you're probably going to, and then it goes to another character. Skip the speech. Let's go kick some behind. Yeah, let's begin. So I, I don't know what any of that really is in reference to no. past. Doesn't basically, really matter. there's nothing that happens to her. Yeah, she basically gets away with it. Um, yeah. big surprise. Yeah, this know. is. Listen, man, no, we've already gone in enough on like terrible writing and why you know source material for these sort of things matters and why you can't just like create a character and be and, and say that they are um just like better than everyone else or that they you mm-hmm. know they're pretty much just ruining characters ruining franchises like putting a bad name on the x-men as you stated before are generally considered to be the characters it's like despite the fact that people uh look at them in a bad way they were always trying to be better right yeah whereas that that wasn't that wasn't the case with magneto's um like faction which i'm forgetting the name mm-hmm. of the brotherhood maybe yeah um yeah but they're you know now it's just like oh well we have this character that just like murder store clerks for something that wasn't his fault right like you should have gone it, it's like he didn't litter right so even right. If, like even if and it wouldn't be justified even if you found the person 
who had done that and you'd done the same thing it's like it's still not justified it's just even worse because you just killed a random dude over it yes you who, took a life yeah and you said that this animal's life again not saying that you should kill an animals wantonly but you're saying this animal life is as valuable or more valuable than this human life and this just not true um and it wasn't related to this but i heard someone make a really good point um today that you can still be an environmentalist and eat animals like and, yes. and eat meat and do things like that you can still understand that environments matter uh mm-hmm. and you know eat deer or cow or whatever the case may be um it's not this like one way or the other it's sort of like the stuff we were talking about in the last episode about being anti-racist mm-hmm. where it's like they just take everything way too far where it's like it's exhausting what you are telling me that i have to do to essentially be uh morally upright in your yes. eyes it's like I, I i have to go to work i have a job i yep. I, I can't be standing around with y'all you know doing whatever uh, and now it's like it's all in entertainment. It's every everywhere we, we see. So I just I thought that was really interesting. I thought people might um, again, like I had mentioned last week when we were talking about how all these companies literally hate people uh, who have certain opinions. This mm-hmm. is just another example of it. 